Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. In the last episode, we took on Sand Mountain, and we actually cleared out the entire area. We have all of the spatulas and all of the socks, so we don't ever have to go to Sand Mountain again, which is a little sad because it's my favorite area, and there were, there were some issues, like Spongebob had a giant crack going down his back, which I think, honestly, after watching it back and editing, I think it had something to do with, like, the stinking uh, bungee jumping thing. But anyway, we've cleared out all three of these main areas. Uh, we're, we have to go back at some point because we are missing some stuff even back at, like, Jellyfish Fields and stuff. But otherwise, we're going to be moving forward to two, the next area, Industrial Park. doesn't seem to be getting any better. SpongeBob, hurry! Squidward's in more trouble than a chili Riano in a pan of grease. We have to help! You're right, Sandy. But if that robot really is like Patrick, he'll eat us for dessert! What should we do? Well, we better figure something out, and pronto! Maybe that button on his back is a self-destruct. I'll try to hit it. Good idea, SpongeBob. But it's time to stop yapping and get to it! Alright, so this is honestly probably my favorite boss fight in the game. Because I just think it's very fun. The things do seem to be splattering a lot faster than I remember it. Uh, but yeah, you basically just have to hit the back of the thing. Because he has the kick, kick me sign, you know. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Just gotta avoid all of the sauce, and thankfully, the game does let you know where it's going to be landing, so it's actually pretty uh, self-explanatory. So, you don't have to use the bubble full move, but you can go back to um, hit him. Alright, just want to make sure you avoid all of the things, because I think if you get hit, it um, resets the thing, so you want to be careful. Alright, Sandy, what you got, girl? You got this. Now, the one thing about... Ooh, goodness, this seems like a lot. <laughs> yeah, so that's the one thing. After you hit him with Sandy, he starts filling up the arena with... Uh, the... the spiky goop. Yeah. If you get hit, he kind of resets the entire cycle. You just want to be careful to not get hit. And when you pull on the thing... Ooh, that was kind of a weird glitch. But yeah, once you, uh... Okay, let's just keep going. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when you pull on the Texas symbol, it uh, it it pulls down some boxes. Which thankfully, Alright, so now, okay, I would appreciate the game, I would have appreciated if you... Okay, that was stupid, because I couldn't see, because the camera wouldn't let me sink in. This is kind of a safe spot, not gonna lie. And you have to use the, um, bowling thing for this area. 
for this section because he filled up the entire region with the toxic goop. So you want to be a little careful. I remember this being a lot harder in the original because you had to like run around the arena a lot because so you would never like throw the thing like right where you were standing. Like every time he's put his back to me, so that makes it super easy. In the original you would have to like run around. Yeah, I think they might have fixed this in the original. Cause I do not remember it being this easy. Thanks for saving me, guys! I never thought I'd say this, SpongeBob, but I owe you big time. Thanks, Sandy. We'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. Aw, shucks. You fellers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fudge in my pants. I'm sorry, Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket Security System. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you, we're gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas! Or I'll never get back into the chum bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Mmm, something's fishy here. Alright, and now we are in the final section of, uh, Bikini Bottom. And that weird visual gl glitch is back again. Nope, it disappeared. Nope, it's still there. That, I don't know what's going on. Alright, Mr. Krabs, what you got? What's wrong, Mr. Krabs? You don't look so good. You gotta help me, boy. The Krusty Krabs been overrun by a bunch of them hoodlum robots of yours. They've booted me out! And worse! They've got all me beautiful shiny objects! Defiling the Krusty Krab? Is there no end to their evil? What are we going to do, Mr. Krabs? We, meaning you, are going to clear the robots out, get me back me restaurant, and most importantly, rescue me money! Alright, so for this section, you have to go into the Krusty Krab to clear out the robots, similar to Sandy Street Dome, and I don't think you can buy golden spatulas from Mr. Krab until you do so. So let's go in and clear out the Krusty Krab. I feel like I should be working! Alright, I don't remember there being, um... Like a new sponge. Okay. Um, I don't remember there being people running around before. You would have to like clear out the area first. Okay, if I could see where I'm supposed to be landing on, that'd be great. Alright, I think that's the only I think that's the only duplicator tron in the thing, so. I love opening presents. Is that it? Everyone seems to have gone back to normal. I feel like a new sponge. The music sounds like it's gone back to normal, so I think I think that was it. Also, I don't know why people were in the restaurant like, hey, I'm going to order a Krusty Krab, or no, a Krabby Patty, excuse me. I'm going to order a Krus uh, Krabby Patty while, like, there's robots everywhere. Like, that seems like a very poor game plan, if you ask me. Alright. Phew, you had me worried there for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. Here, take this as your reward. And we had a golden spatula for that, and... Wow, I never quite realized that they never made him do the Mr. Krabs laugh, because that's not Mr. Krabs' actual voice actor in the show. They had to get a replacement or something. And if you hit the uh, dumpster back here, you get a uh, you get a sock. Bubble buddy, I bet the next move you teach me will be the best one ever. Absolutely, SpongeBob. Super Pinky shake on it. I would, if I had pinkies. Here, I'll blow you some. Yeah, maybe later. Now, pay attention, SpongeBob. 
this bubble's a doozy. Paying my entire salary and attention. When you're not moving, press this button, and you'll blow a bubble that you can steer as it flies through the air. Wow. Aim carefully, though. You've only got a few seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. I'm a bubble blowing machine. All right, so that is, in fact, the next uh, bubble power that we got. We got basically just a missile that you get to control. And I, I remember there was the theater, which has a lot of concept art, but apparently that's not a thing in this version. That is, wait. May I help you? Oh, so you can. You need to talk to the ticket booth, which makes sense, but we don't have nearly enough shiny objects, and we need to buy plenty of uh, shiny, uh, gold spatulas from Mr. Krabs. So, what I, th let's see. What I think I might do is that I'm not sure if I want to go into the next area quite yet, so I'm going to just decide really quick what I want to do. Yeah, so you want to know what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually try to uh, clear up some areas before we go into the next area, which is SpongeBob Stream. It's a fun area, but we're going to be trying to do some stuff, which... Okay, wait a minute. Okay, so the, the, <laughs> the controls are inverted for height. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Okay. Wait, no, they're not inverted. Okay, but hitting all three buttons makes a thing show up, and then we get this nice golden spatula on top of the chum bucket. We're at 55, we're like 55% of the way through, because I think there's 100. Um, and there's also the, there is another pair of golden underwear on top of the sign of the crusty crab. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. That's how you get on it. Six pairs of underwear. I am one unbeatable sponge. Cool. So we are going to be taking, we're going to do a little bit of backtracking. We're going to try and get some of the things that we missed before. So first off, downtown Bikini Bottom. All right, so we need to come back with the cruise bubble, which is the missile thing that we just got. And as you saw, there was a button floating all the way up there, which frankly, they should have put us on the other other wing because, you know, it would have made more sense. Somehow I don't think you can't you need hit a it hand. from that I angle. Like a new sponge. Yeah, see, there we go. And that causes a thing to open up, or a golden spatula to appear. Now, I think actually you don't need to uh, use the... I don't, I don't think you need to use the cruise bubble for this. I think you can just cheese it with Sandy. Uh, but yeah, that makes a uh, thing go over. Which actually, I think what you do is you... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, I want to go on the swingy thing. Huh. What the heck? Okay, I think Han's trying to take me, but didn't really work. Alright, and then we have five more socks in downtown Bikini Bottom that we need to get, so I will be cutting to where we get them. All right, so here is sock number one. Go from... It's right over here by the statue. And then here is another sock. Oh, wow. <laughs> I skipped, I skipped that part. That, that's funny. That is the big funny. I think the next sock is over here. Yep, there's another sock on there. Do I really have to carry pack? I love opening presents. I 
Feel like a new sponge. All right, so once you defeat the lighthouse, all the robots in the lighthouse, it produces a bouncy thing, so you need to bounce all the way back up. And then there is a sock up here. Okay, so as it turns out, I did in fact miss something. Uh, you do have to be Sandy. And, I mean, I'll wait for this to go over. Then you have to... Ooh, make it onto here, which I never real, which I never realized that this wing actually opened. I, I always thought that was just closed because that was an area that we never needed. But apparently, apparently, in fact, that is a thing. Because this is the first time I'm ever 100%ing this game in any capacity. And when I was younger, I always just assumed that was just permanently closed. But apparently, it is in fact an area which I'm kind of surprised I never figured out sooner. Uh, but yeah, that clears up downtown Bikini Bottom, so next I think we'll be going into Jellyfish Fields, because we are actually missing a number of socks from here, so I'll see you guys there. Oh, I see. There's this area here, which I don't even think I ever remember being here. But there is... A sock right here. I don't even know where this is from. But it's here. That's neat. Learn something new every day. Alright, this next one's pretty easy. You just throw the ice fruit. And you just slide across the water. Okay, for a second I thought I was not gonna make that. Oops. So yeah, once you get to this section, if I can pick up the fruit, thank you. Throw it on that one. And you make it. Alright, so next thing here, we have to... Destroy the floating tiki's with our food's over here. If I could not fail first. Okay, I am... Oh my god, I thought that was gonna go higher. Jesus. I am no. I cannot for the life of me. That was right there. Oh my god, I keep thinking that the stupid thing is like inverted. Oh my god, I can't even hit one. You know what, can I, can I just... You know what? Ha! I'm cheating the system. Okay, hold on. Oh, come on, that was like right there. Okay, so let it be known, you don't actually have to use the cruise bubble move at all. <laughs> you can use the bubble thing. Alright, so that's where our next stop is, which I think we have to cross over here first. Alright, that's our next stop. Alright, so this is the last sock of Jellyfish Fields. It is a bowling game. Oh, 7-10 split. Gosh, alright. But otherwise, you just have to knock down all of the things using the bowling thing. And that actually clears up all of Jellyfish Fields. Alright, uh, we'll do Goolagoon too, because there's only two socks that we're missing, so we'll we'll do Goolagoon too, just to finish that up really quick. I feel like a new sponge. 
And that's where the one of the socks is for Voodoo Lagoon. Oh yeah, while we're right here, um, this is the thing. If I could actually get anything in. You can score points with this, but apparently it looks super broke where even if you get it in, they just break. But yeah, that's pretty much the bowling thing. I know it used to be a big thing in speedrunning for, um, in the original for shiny object hunting, but unfortunately it does not work in this game, I don't think. Now this is the one thing that I was going to try to hold on to to get rid of that thing, because that makes my life a lot easier, because the throw fruit just is, it's, it's, it's too difficult. Too difficult. But yeah, that is all of the socks in Goo Lagoon and Downtown Bikini Bottom and in Jellyfish Fields. So now we will return to the top of the chum bucket. Alright, well, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to stay notified, hit the subscribe button, get the notifications rolling, and with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we take on the first area of the last area, SpongeBob's Dream. If I could find the trigger point. Hello? There it is. Yep, yeah, see? I'll see you guys then.